across an amazing land of, uh, of Egypt. Cleopatra the seventh was the last pharaoh to ever rule Egypt, uh, Kevin. It's just incredible when you think about it. And uh, to think that the last king of Egypt was a lady, but as a lady, she certainly needed to know how to speak and how to stand up for herself. The story is just absolutely incredible. When you travel across the land of Egypt, you're just able to see the story and it'll relive the experience. You see, the Romans were marching across the entire ancient world, oppressing the peoples in every country they wanted to rule. And when the Roman Empire came into the land of Egypt, Cleopatra knew what she had to do. Julius Caesar appears and as the young 18, 19 year old uh, fair uh, queen, uh, the, the, she was a princess then, she rolls herself up in that beautiful carpet carried by black Nubian slaves they reckon and uh, marches in to see Julius Caesar, presents herself as a gift to him and then asks him basically for his hand in marriage, saying Julius, you 44 year old bloke, you need me. 18 and 19, beautiful <laughs> and gorgeous, you need me to be your queen, together we can conquer the world. Now, Julius Caesar in his mid-40s was swept away by her beauty, swept away by her simple request, and of course, as you know how the story progressed, he married her, had a child by her. They thought the child would one day rule the entire world of Rome, and this was one reason that he lost his life. Now, the story of Julius Caesar, Cleopatra, their life and times, and how then Mark Antony was to fall in love with the same woman, to me is a fantastic illustration of the power of words. When you know how to plan a meeting, when you know how to present yourself properly, when you're able to engage with powerful people because you understand the power of a word, that's just amazing what has happened in history. You know, they think they've discovered the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. You see them on the sculptures. Where is the final resting place of doomed lovers Cleopatra and Mark Antony? This temple is called Tabuziris Magna. It's located 50 kilometers west of Alexandria. And we think this is really a perfect place for Cleopatra and Mark Antony to be hidden in this place. Archaeologists last year unearthed the alabaster head of a Cleopatra statue, 22 coins bearing Cleopatra's image, and a mask believed to belong to Mark Antony. Hey, yeah, it's just incredible to go and see. You might like to contact us about these amazing adventures overseas or you might like to get today's copy of the program guide and you can do so very simply by calling the studio. That's uh, 033 377 033. Or you can email us on the web, info at toogoodtoday.com.